with all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment. You're watching the Boone TV Buzz, Iowa's most watched high school news show. Hello Boone High and welcome back to the Boone TV Buzz. Thank you for joining us for this week's news show where we will bring you all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment from this past week. Let's take a look at what has BHS buzzing. Last Tuesday, after a long day of testing for sophomores and juniors, and sleeping in for seniors, BHS students were able to experience adults in classes. Boone TV's Carla Tellez has more on this day. April 2nd, Boone High students had the opportunity to participate in an adult teen afternoon. This afternoon, focus on teaching students different skills they will need as an adult. I learned how to protect myself with self-defense. I learned how to buy a car and how to maintain one. I learned a lot about finances and how to do like taxes and how to get ready for retirement, I guess. <laughs> These activities were focused on finance, healthy lifestyle, and the dangers of sustained abuse. This adulting afternoon proved to be a great learning experience for all students. This has been Carla Tellez from Boone TV. The girls track team recently held their home invitational, hoping to place well among competing teams. Boone TV sports reporter Emma Ellsworth has your results. On Thursday, March 28th, the girls track team made their home debut against Fort Dodge, Marshalltown, and Newton. After getting some quick points in the field events, the girls kept up the pace in the running events. Boone picked up a first place finish in the shuttle hurdle team of Grace Kelly, Brittany Blackburn, Lily Spurgeon, and Jada Johnson, finishing with a time of 1 minute and 16 seconds. Shortly after the shuttle hurdle event, Boone gained a fourth place finish in the open 100 meter dash with freshman Morgan Lyons with a time of 13.34 seconds. The night was also highlighted by senior Maddie Daner in the 400 hurdles. Daner finished with a time of 71.78 seconds, giving her a first place finish. Boone won the meet with 109 points. The girls will return to Geppinger Field on April 25th for the Boone Classic. Be sure to go out and support the girls' track team. This has been Emma Ellsworth from Boone TV. The girls' tennis team started their season last week in a home match against the Newton Cardinals. Boone TV sports reporter Tyson Kroll has more on their success. On Monday, April 1st, the girls' tennis team held their first meet of the year against the Newton Cardinals. In the number one singles match, Boone's Myra Bernard dominated Newton's Ashley Lower with a 6-0, 6-0 sweep. At number four singles, Boone's Ellie Turner took the win against Kaylee Cross. Ellie was able to sustain control of the match behind her strong serves, finishing 6-3 and then 6-1. Once singles finished up, the doubles began. Anna Olson teamed up with Kara Lohman to deliver a well-deserved victory against Crystal Perez and Sam Adams. With Kara displaying strong net play and Anna being quick across the court, they finished 6-4 and then a very close 7-5. The girls' head coach, Lou Olson, is very excited about this win. Yeah, we had a great uh, first meet here today, at least in, in singles for sure, and I think we have lots of things we can always improve on. I think big is attacking their second serves and keeping our feet moving at all points. Our, two things that will be big moving forward as we face uh, better opponents in the future. With a more than fantastic start to the season, Boone blew out Newton 11-0. This has been Tyson Kroll from Boone TV. The boys soccer team recently held their home opener. Boone TV reporter John Coleman has more on this recap. The Boone High School boys soccer team kicked off the first game of the 2019 season last Tuesday the 2nd versus the Carroll Tigers. Carroll had the first kick they scored within 30 seconds after the initial kick, putting the Tigers up by one. The Torridors were able to put up a stout defense and held them to one point for 35 minutes, but Carroll was able to put up one more with 5 minutes and 43 seconds left of the half. After a battle of defense the first half, Boone missed an opportunity to put up a point, 30 seconds to the end of the half. 
Heading into the second half, 0-2 in favor of Carroll. Carroll started out strong with a goal two minutes into the second half. Carroll continued to add to their lead, putting up more points on the board as Boone couldn't get anything going on offense. At four minutes left, Boone put up a, their first point and also their last. The game ended with a final score of 1-6 in favor of Carroll. This has been John Coleman from Boo TV Sports. Netflix has dropped yet another original series, and Boone TV's Hannah Good and Nolan Walker have everything you need to know. Here is their review of The Umbrella Academy. Hello Boone High, I'm Nolan Walker. And I'm Hannah Good. In this episode, we will be reviewing the new Netflix original Umbrella Academy. The Umbrella Academy is about seven kids that are born on the same day by mothers that were not pregnant at the beginning of the day. After they were born, they were bought by Sir Reginald Hargraves. As the kids are growing up, Hargraves makes an elite horse fighting academy. As the years go by, the kids leave the house and move on with their lives. Seventeen years later, Hardgrave dies and all of the kids get together. As they are together, one of their brothers travels through time and informs them that the world is going to end in eight days. I give the Umbrella Academy an 8 out of 10. One of the things I didn't like about the Umbrella Academy was number five's romantic relationship with a mannequin. I thought it was weird that a 13 year old boy was in love with a mannequin that had half a body. The other part I didn't like was that Leonard was trying to tear the family apart after they had just reunited. One of my favorite things about the Umbrella Academy was the chemistry between the characters. They act like they are actually a family and have spent time together. The other thing I like is the demonstration of the family's superpowers. I give the Umbrella Academy a 9 out of 10. One of the things that could have been better is showing more into the lives as the kids. I liked that there was a big plot twist and that there was a talking wise monkey. That's all for this review. Check back next month for another streaming review. This has been Two Doors in a Stream, and we'll see you next time. This week, Boon TV's Andrew Eli is back with your responses on this fan favorite segment. Here's the latest installment of Question of the Week. Question of the Week! Question of the Week! So Hannah, where would you go for a vacation someday? Oh, you know, probably like in a volcano, be chilling with some lava, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Where would you go, Boon High? I want to go to Bora Bora because I think it's really pretty. I think I'm, I'd like to go to Italy. It sounds like a cool place. I would go to Greece, specifically a little island off of the Athens shore, um, because it's beautiful and quiet. Japan, because I want to learn the culture. <laughs> It would probably be to Haiti because I went there on a mission trip when I was younger and it was overall a great experience. Japan, well like Tokyo, it'd be fun. Amazon rainforest and just because I can like live in there. So I would go to Hawaii because it is very gorgeous and there's lots of mountains and it has beautiful weather. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would travel to London, England because I'm a total Shakespeare geek. I would go to Hawaii so I could surf. I would like to go to Barcelona because the skateboarding community there is ginormous. Whoa! Uh, where I would choose would probably be Mexico because it's tropical and good weather. I want to go to Russia because I heard the snowboarding is really cool. Question of the week! Question of the week! Thank you for joining us for this week's new show. We will be back next week with all the latest buzz at BHS. In the meantime, please head over to BoonTV.com to check out all of our latest videos. While there, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And now, from all of us at BoonTV, make sure that you stay safe, stay cool, and have a wonderful week, Boon High.